Start by placing the ultrasound probe over the spinous process to identify the midline. The shadow of the spinous process is blocking our view of deeper structures, so I'll slide a little cephalotter caudad and apply some tilt. Here we see the posterior complex, which comprises the ligamentum flavum and dura, the anterior complex, which is made up of the dura and vertebral body, and the interthecal space in between. From this image, we've identified midline and the depth to the epidural and interthecal spaces. Keep in mind that the actual depth where we have loss of resistance or CSF return is likely to be a little deeper because we're pushing down on the subcutaneous tissue with the ultrasound probe. Draw a vertical line with a marking pen to identify the midline. To identify the inner space, place the probe in the sagittal orientation just lateral to midline with a slight medial tilt to see into the spinal canal. Here we see the bright white stripe of the sacrum caudad followed by the triangular shaped laminae cephalad. As we move the probe cephalad, we can identify each lamina and the exact inner space where we would like to place our neuraxial anesthetic. After identifying the desired level, center the inner space on the screen and draw a horizontal line across. When marking the inner space, make sure that your patient is in the intended position for the procedure, otherwise your marked line may not represent the inner space. After the scan of the neuraxis with ultrasound, your patient now has two intersecting lines on their back, guiding you to the exact midline and inner space for your block.